Hey Gekupia fam, thank you for clicking this video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you around my reptile rooms that I've been setting up for the past couple of weeks after I moved in. On this right hand, this is all the big geckos. Like, that I've been working on for past years and keeping a couple of the good ones that I like. And especially right here in the middle, where it has a green stickers on. Those are the kept geckos for this year's projects because I really want to improve the quality each year when I uh, work on my new projects for my leopard geckos. And on the back right here, uh, there's a red cross gangs and on this side, this is all crusty geckos. The crusty geckos, as I said earlier, they do require a little bit of higher enclosure. It doesn't have to be wide for crusty geckos because majority of the time they will be climbing on the offsite and things like that. This crusty gecko is staring at me right now, but as long as you provide a uh, high level of enclosure, they will do pretty well. And um, some of the smaller size crusty geckos are stored in this plastic tops. All of these crusty gecko enclosure doesn't have those heat pad or anything like that because they do well with the room temperature, which this room specifically are kept within somewhere around 75 Fahrenheit so these guys will do really well with it and also uh, Red Actoskins does require a little bit of uh, heat during the cold season so I did a heat pad on the wall instead of down area because I do have a substrates like Ecoerth and things like that so if you put a heat mat underneath the Ecoerth and if you have a like thick layer then those heat won't really actually transfer to the outside of the equator so in that case since i do it that way i put, place it right on the side of the enclosure and on this end it's all the leopard geckos and this one is the all the geckos that i'm keeping there's a geckos underneath so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15. So there's a 15 layer of this hassling top for each one. And on this right here at the corner, these are the ones that are available for our clients and anyone who is interested in getting a new leopard geckos. And basically all these empty spaces are pretty much all sold and went out to our clients in the past. Now on this end right here, these are the other size leopard geckos that I own. And these are some of my brother's uh, leopard gecko. He just loved to keep them as a pet, so I keep them everything all together. And also some hassings of here as well. And on the back end, there's a light for the video. And right here in this room, this is all inventories and shipping supplies that I ship to my reptile lovers. And on the wall, on the back end, right there as you can see in the picture there's a stand that's covering it but those are the uh, pictures that i had in the rooms uh, studio rooms while i was recording you know in the previous occasions and i decided to put it right there so that anyone who enters the reptile rooms and they have no idea what the leopard gecko morph is i would just literally show them because those are super easy to describe you don't even have to say a couple words to explain the leopard gecko morph. If you see right here, there's all the kind, not, not everything's up there, but a lot of good ones are shown as an example and also like the eyes, tails, and all the details for leopard geckos and a variety of different species that are similar to leopard geckos. Now, while you're watching this video, if you're wondering why I put this lights up right behind me, it's because I do have four actually one two, four, yeah, four different lights above the ceiling but because leopard geckos they like to be kept dark instead of bright uh, lights i decided to put these couple lamps here to make the rooms a little bit bright not too bright but yeah those help a lot during the night time so i do install a couple of them here for the videos and also to see my geckos during the night time Right now, I haven't fully set up the rooms, so it's still not fully organized. 
but on the right hand right here this is where I'm gonna keep the leopard geckos and because my hastings are starting to grow bigger and bigger I'm gonna be installing some rack system right on this side as well this is pretty much empty so I'm gonna utilize this space and put the rack system there for these guys and I put like plans on here on this whiteboard and do some um, testing product testing on this desk area so I'm probably gonna put this uh, to right here in the middle to actually Actually, yeah, I think, yeah, middle will be the best area to put in because if I were to put all the rack system on the side, I wouldn't have a lot of space for the desk. So yeah, middle will be the right place. Now, um, there are three rack system that I have to build that are like this. It's gonna take a lot of time, but I'm gonna start uh, building them eventually. It's all in the down air, downside, um, but I'm gonna start eventually building up whenever I have time. And once that is completed, I'll try to show you guys again uh, because right now it's not organized. And also, while I was moving, a couple of my geckos were starting to ovulating. Uh, for, so my females that I had, uh, since their size and weights are perfect to mate, I have been breeding a couple of them this week. So it hasn't been long, but normally I would be breeding maybe like somewhere around January in Las Vegas because that's when it gets super cold and that's pretty much the time when they all get ready for breeding seasons but for this year because I have been pretty much moving geckos during the cold seasons I think some of them were, were basically um, ovulating while heading to Dallas in Texas. I kept everything in one room this time instead of putting it outside is because I noticed that when any of these gecko escape sometimes i forget to close all the way in while i'm cleaning so in that case if that happens these geckos will escape and it takes an hour hours sometimes it takes days to find them because the house was big and if they go underneath some furniture like i couldn't even find it so at that point i had to put it in the room and also what i've noticed is that if you put everything in the room the, warm, the room gets a little bit warmer than any other locations, any other rooms or living room or anything else. So it's really, really good to maintain them during the cold season, especially when it's just super, super cold and you have these reptiles that doesn't have a heat units, they can do really well with it. And if you put everything in the one single rooms and some, if one reptile escape, it's super easy to find because all you know now is they're gonna be hiding somewhere in this room and I'm, I'll be pretty much be able to look around and find them more faster. So far after I moved, nothing has been escaped because I've been looking carefully for all these tubs. But yeah, if that happens, the room will be super easy to find. So I decided to put everything in one single room. Now in this room right here, there are a couple things that I added which I'm going to share you a couple of them. This is a one great tip for anyone who is uh, growing their reptiles, like growing their size of their leopard geckos or any reptiles. If you have a door like this, usually there's a big crevice. Let me open the door. As you can see, there's a big crevice and I bought this one cover, door cover, which this is like super flexible and this is like a sticker part so you can just simply attach it. If you have one of these, geckos can escape to other places and the other places are super cold so having something like this will prevent from escaping the rooms and also I think it helps maintaining the temperature as well because there's gonna be a less air that's gonna come in and go out and I bought a uh, I did I ha actually had this before this is the filter air filter for the rooms because in this room I do a lot of things like shipping and sometimes I will be working with the uh, uh, prototypes for new products and also cleanings and things like that so there's a lot of like dust and smells and these actually helps a lot and also one other thing that i added 
for this room is I have this a portable thermometer uh, which I can set a timer while I'm sleeping and especially I don't really like to put a like I don't want to blast like heat during the cold season because that makes the whole entire room super dry and I don't like that so what I normally do is I'll once I keep certain temperature and if it's still cold at that point I will turn this on and set a timer to a certain temperature which 75 is my ideal temperature 75 Fahrenheit and this will basically warm up whole entire rooms and these rooms doesn't have a lot of like crevice uh, so it keeps the rooms pretty warm for a very long period of time and when it gets super super dusty then I will literally open this window and then open the window and then circulate all the fresh air this is my rec system and those are my incub custom sized incubator another incubator and some misting and that's a dubia and that's a just desk and this is pretty much empty space that I need to use since I showed you my room reptile room tour uh, I'm gonna show you my example geckos that I paired recently not every female is already um, this at the moment right now but one of the female that was ready this week was the WY. She is currently shedding, so I can't really show you the whole color. Sorry, um, I won't take her out because I think she will be stressed. And especially when they're shedding, you don't really want to handle them unless they're having trouble with the shedding. That's when you want to assist. But I also place these type of things right here to lay an egg yeah and then kitchen towels and dish things like that as you can see I did add her a new top and like the container box where they can lay an egg with the equal worth and right now she is currently shedding so I don't really want to disturb her too much um, because that's gonna stress her out but it's a WY let me show you a little bit more clearly so you guys can see but overall she's almost done with the head part for the shedding and i think she will be pretty much be done within one or two days and let me put her back in since she has to shed and the male that i paired with her was this boy right here um i i did cover him in the previous video he is called drizzle his name is drizzle and he looks amazing. He's a WY jungle tramper, and um, and there was a possibility of had eclipse for this this male. But after I tested it out with the another female that has had eclipse, it was proven out to be had eclipse. So he, he has the had eclipse. Um, the one of the half things that I produced from these guys, this with this male and the female had an eclipse eye, so that's when I knew that this boy is no longer possibly had eclipse. But he is stunning. You know, normally WYs they're well known for those like stripe lines, but this male has this drizzle pattern. And let me show you one of the example. When I pair this male with some other females, I ended up producing this one. I showed a couple times in the video, short videos, and my social medias, and this is how it came. This one doesn't have a visual tramper, but he is hat tramper, but has a really, really unique pattern, like the male, a jungle pattern. And the color is pretty, pretty dark and solid. So he is definitely going to be a really, really great male for any projects that you want to work on for jungle. And I do have him available. So if you want to check him out, uh, visit our website. Now, because I've been seeing some of my housing going to other sites, that's why I do need to set up these big rack system on the other end, because those tops are not good enough space for this um, subart size or other leopard geckos so you do need like these size uh, tops 
these size of rack system when they get certain size. Yeah, overall, I think that's pretty much what I want to show you for this one. Um, since I have been basically preparing these rooms for a couple weeks after I moved, I think it's about 56% done. But once I get more rack system on this end, I'll show you guys an update on how I made some changes with the reptile rooms. But yeah, a lot of people want to see the new reptile room. So here's the video for you guys for my reptile rooms. I hope you guys enjoyed. And while you're looking at this video, while you're watching this video, if you want to give me any recommendations like where should I put the desk or what would be a good idea to allocate some of these items in these rooms to actually utilize the space more efficiently. So if you have any ideas, let me know down in the comment. I would love to see your um, opinions and I'll make some changes as how you want it if I like the idea. But yeah, these lamp does help a lot during the night um, because they don't like bright lights and also portable heaters does work well during the cold seasons and air filter underneath right here does make the whole entire rooms a little bit more cleaner and less dust oh and one also one other last tip for the video i've been using a bunch of different calcium powder and this one is the one of my favorite one which is available on our websites but when I've been using the grab call calciums and having these hundreds of geckos, these do go out pretty quick. So what I decided to do is I did some research and I found out there's another size of this. So recently, <laughs> this came to my locations. Look at this, it's super big. It's like a bucket of the powder. And inside is all the powders. Yeah, if you've been growing size for leopard geckos or any other geckos that need calciums, I highly recommend going into that big size instead of the smaller ones because it's really, really a lot of hassle to cut open and repurchase and things like that. If you buy one of these, these will last a year. I, I can guarantee you that because I've been using this for, for not a long time, but while I was using, I'm barely using anything because it's so big and so much in there. Yeah, so for anyone who is scaling up the leopard geckos or any geckos that needs costumes, try using those. And one other pros while I was working, like while I was setting up these and uh, having this for a couple of weeks, one of the pros for the rooms is also that if you have anything that are open windows, then especially when you want to basically get rid of all the smells and dust, simply open that windows and it will just literally clean out the whole entire old airs. And it works out really well. And especially if you are getting more geckos over time, the smells will start to rise a lot more than what you used to. And having one of these and room like this will eventually solve all the smell issues. That's what I've noticed. A lot of reptile shops or any other places that I go, they always had a trouble with smells because there's so many reptiles in there and like insects, they do smell a lot, but anything like those or air filters does helps a lot so i highly recommend it for anyone who is building a reptile rooms but yeah that's it for the gecko pia rooms i hope you enjoyed and if you have any feedback let me know down in the comment and i'll make some adjustment with the reptile rooms but other than that thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys Hey look, if you enjoyed that video, I went ahead and picked out another special video that I know you're gonna find immensely valuable. You can find it right here. There I know you're gonna love it and I'll see you in the next one.